Well, 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 it's been a while. All right. Well, my newest project. Just got a case in. Looks kind of like a Lian Lee. One of those big glass ones. But it's made by a company that goes by the name of metallic gear it wasn't very expensive i'm going to check out the build quality of it but basically the reason i got it is because this case is designed to be able to um put a second motherboard in it so you can build a streaming rig or editing with your main board going so i'm going to end up pulling everything out of my out of my NZXT case that's going to go in the main part of this and in the back is going to go I think I'm going to put a gigabyte mini ATX motherboard would probably I don't know probably a 5900 chip I was thinking about going with the G but if I'm going to be streaming I'm going to need a little more graphics than that so I'm probably going to end up going with a a low profile graphics card a 3070 ti or something but we'll get there we'll cross that bridge but right now i just wanted to get this open and take a look at what we got let's see if it's all together hopefully nothing's broken because it looks like almost everything on it is glass They didn't do a bad job packaging it from the looks of things. Let's see what we got. Is everything on camera? Tell me, everything on camera? Yeah, it looks like we got everything on camera. Maybe I could lift this up just a smidgen. I know I hate doing this stuff while I'm filming, but what the heck can I say? all right so it's a white case looks like everything's in there we're gonna have to flip it over might lose a little bit of the video for a second whoa it's a big box a bigger box okay so we get the back right here Oop. Oop. okay well, this is the bottom of the case wow it's a, so far feels like it's got decent quality to it get some weight it's definitely wide holy mackerel I like the white it's a nice solid white and nothing worse than them old school whites where they look like they've been in a bar room for a month okay I'm gonna throw it up on the table so we can get a better look at it Sunday anyways kind of in the middle of a little tropical storm over here today and I just did a kung fu flip with my thinking um, I've been getting some questions about this uh, metallic gear metallic gear neo cube and few of the things I want to talk about is the quality of this case is really really fantastic um, as far as the color goes I would have liked to seen a brighter white it's not bad at all but a little brighter would have been better for me I'm I think more you know on the range of pure white but it seems to be this is the white most cases come from. Okay, the thickness of the metal on the case is above average. 
it's not tinny at all you can hear it um, as far as what the insides on this case I know I'm gonna focus more on the back than the front it does look like a Lee Ann Lee I'm not sure what their intentions were as far as copying Lee Ann Lee um, I think maybe they did lean that way a bit but that's besides the point because no matter how you cut it, it is its own case. It's unique. One of the guys over at OG's um, Discord was saying that he was thinking about getting a Lee and Lee and modding it out. He didn't realize they had one of these. And so we're going to go over some of the ups and downs of this. The first thing is I want to say is this thing is tight. Very, very tight. The seams meet, they're flawless. Um, we'll take a look all the way around the case. You can see the back. First thing I want to touch on is over here. You can see where there's a screw down bottom that holds in where it's made for a mini, not a, not a micro, they're longer. It's made for a mini ATX motherboard. Micros have three screw holes. Minis have two. Okay, so you pull that plate off. Even the plate itself is thick. You have slots in the back where you can put a low profile video card you get about three three and a half inches so I'm not quite sure if I can find something in the newer series that that will handle that um, that they make that I've been looking around and the only one I did find was about five it, that's not gonna work unless I run the back open I, I don't want to do that um, so these do unscrew and I'm sure I can get an older card, maybe a 2060, 2080, uh, 1660 Ti, anything like that. That would probably stream with no problem. I was thinking about going with the 57G chip, but AMD isn't known for having their, um, they, they, it, it'll stream, but they're not, they're not really well known for their streaming. Um, that NVENC is definitely the way to go. So, very, everything comes very tight on this case. I mean, if you're thinking about it being tight, it's tight. It's not loose. It's not tinny. Everything has great insulation. Top of the line. Top of the line filtering. You can also put a 360 millimeter rad on the top as well on the side. Well, actually, I should say the back of the case. You'll see the inside when we get to it. Now, everything pretty much on this case, I'll show you. Everything on this case pretty much slides. It just it slides together. And it's, like I said, it's tight. Okay. On the inside of the rear panel, it's all insulated with some foam. Again, it has nice, tight filtering. Everything's glued and seamed very well. No issues with that whatsoever. You can see how they use some screws. They just clip that down in there. On the okay. So, as far as the insides go let's bring it back give you a better look you're getting approximately you have enough room for a mini in there of course you're gonna pop this off all your cable management will go with no issues whatsoever behind here I even was thinking about water cooling it, and it could be done. If I go with a G chip, the 57G, 
absolutely you get all your extra screws mounts everything you need in here also this can be used and doubled up for um, two and a half or three and a half extra storage as well as all along the outside I think let me look at that again that might fall in just a little bit too close yeah you wouldn't be able to put nothing on the outside but you could put more on the inside it has plenty of holes all the way down to the bottom everything has nice high quality rubber grommets and velcro straps to hold everything in we have a SATA controller we have a power switch cable we have a D RGB so there is an RGB in the front of this it's a small strip um, I think again I think it kind of like falls in line with the Lee and Lee but you can go with the male part an adapter to put a female as well as another female RGB for yeah this is the motherboard so this will control the motherboard you come with a plug for a C which will attach to the motherboard okay we have our audio drivers and we have the rest of our hard drive LED reset switch as well as the front panel um, USB over here you can see where on the inside you can put a huge you can put a huge um, radiator so I am gonna put a what do I have I have what, a 60 millimeter 360 that's gonna go in the front as well as you could put a good size 60 millimeter on the top one thing I wanted to know and it dawned on me last night when I was watching television I was thinking about it when you put a board in here it's going on the opposite side of what a board is not only made to go on for the front of the case so when the board goes in this and you put your back plate against the and fit it into the opening the board's going to be upside down so your PCIe Express is going to be on top your memory is going to be over here instead of over there like everyone's used to it's not going to cause any issues whatsoever but that's just the way it's going to be now you can see it has four areas for standoffs four, four standoffs going here and I actually they're probably yeah I would say they're in the box Maybe we ought to take a quick look. And what's in here? Ah, absolutely. It has extra rubber bumpers. It has some uh, wire ties. It has some zip ties, screws, black standoffs, and just some extra stuff in there this is what I was looking for the instruction manual there's not a lot of information out there on this case not a lot of reviews I'd like to see what one full build would go um, I've seen one I was just watching the guy's video actually and he's running a low profile flat looks like a Nautica um, CPU cooler it's got to be a G chip or an Intel multi integrated because he, he's not using a video card so I am wondering if you're going to be streaming you absolutely need graphics I mean there's no getting around that don't mind the mess by the way I've been doing some work over in here on top of that I'm hanging my TV in the other room and oh my god sorry five things going all right over here you have down the bottom you can see 
right over here is where your power supply is going to go. Now, this company that owns Metallic Gear, it's Fantech. I think that's what I put, Fantech, yeah. As well as you use the Fantech makes the Fantech makes the power supply that goes inside of here that which which has 224 pin power connectors on it and it also eliminates the need so you, you have to um, get separate power for for your uh, for your Elgato capture card all right onward with a little bit of playing around pulling all these cables out of the way a little spot weld here and there I could guarantee you I could put a full-size ATX in there it would just fit the cable would probably have to be hid right down along the side but it could be done I wouldn't bother a mini will do fine over in here you can see where you have <coughs> all of your switches you have 3.0 USB, USB-C, you have headphone jack plug, the M stands for mystery, I don't know, <laughs> it's got to be, it's a button, must light up and do something, recycle, and another switch right here for um, controlling your RGB lighting. The front same as everything else you want to take it off it just pops right off very easy the whole case that's the way it is okay so as far as the bottom goes you have a nice clean filter dust filter fits in there with no issues whatsoever pops right off again and you can see everything is nice and snug good quality foam good quality glass tempered glass not thin not cheap there's nothing about this case that's cheap for a for a um, under $150 case it, the quality of it is outstanding the standoffs are already placed in here for a ATX you could probably go all the way out to an extended ATX with this I would imagine the depth in here is is outstanding I'll be able to put my 60 millimeter 360 in there with no issues whatsoever I am going to use probably cooler master fans the three-in-ones that I like to use they just will save on a ton of wiring as far as these go on and off no problem whatsoever you can also put a 360 millimeter fan down the bottom you don't want to put a rad down there because you never want your rad lower than than your block not good at all you get air trapped in your block and you'll ruin it blocks are always higher than the hoses even if it's by half an inch an inch it doesn't make a difference you you I'm sorry you want the you, you want the radiator part higher than your block so your ear gets stuck in the radiator and not in the block okay again all good quality good quality rivets some of it is spot welded The bottom again has good legs. They have nice rubber padding on them. So there's not a lot I can say until the motherboard gets in. I think I'm going to put an ASUS board. I was thinking a gigabyte, but I'm going to go ASUS, I think. 
I seen one on OG's site that I really liked. I hope he still has it in stock. As well as the um, two power supplies I just ordered. I know OG's had a lot going on lately and uh, I hope everything works out for him. Um, so that's about it. Other than how I can say get a little light in here for you. The quality of everything is outstanding. It's just so clean everything on it is, is good quality I've got nothing bad I can say about this other than they really didn't go completely unique with their own look but I get it they, they were chasing after a, um, a popular case in a way I'm kinda glad they did I do like the design of the case and just because it kind of looks the same doesn't mean it is the same. It's its own case. It does its own thing. So there we have it, folks. The next time you see this, there'll be stuff going inside of it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. We're starting to come along. I keep saying that, and we are. Um... It just takes time. I, I, I don't do a lot of advertising. And, uh, you know, those likes that you do give, believe me, I really appreciate it. It really does help. So on that note, I think I pretty much explained about as much as can be explained with this. As far as everything goes, you can see plenty of room for your regular stuff I might even just put my stuff inside of there just to get it started and um, they did a nice job it was well thought out your power supply is going to go sideways in here it doesn't go its average way so it will go sideways it'll lay right underneath where the board goes I, at first I, I almost I almost put in the order for for a, a micro ATX and then I realized the micros are wider than the minis um, why they do that I don't know they should just make an ATX an extended ATX and a mini you know let's save on everything but I don't own the company so it is what it is yeah, I'm going to take a look at these directions in a few minutes. Maybe it'll explain a little bit more about what some of the things do, the power on this does. But, hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope you come back. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll have more videos to come. Looking forward to getting this thing done. Have a great day.